And now, part two of my critique of vegan gains. Before diving into this week's clip and addressing my concerns, I'd like to briefly respond to a reoccurring critique from last week's video comment section. It has been leveled at me that I failed to realize that vegan gains was trolling, being sarcastic, or acting satirically. I did not. I outlined a number of times throughout the video that Vegan Gaines was either acting out a character or he was being serious. The point I was making was that in either case, he has not been doing the vegan movement any favors. A person doesn't have to look any further than the like to dislike ratio of these videos in question. If we are to give the benefit of the doubt to Vegan Gaines and say that he has been attempting to use satire to relay some kind of vegan message, why then are so many people missing it? His satire, if it is that, is lost on the large majority of his viewers and results in leaving negative associations of veganism. The last thing the movement needs is a sensationalist, self-proclaimed sadist, poor satirist and misogynist, as we are soon to find out, distracting those discovering veganism. I accept that there are many people that claim to have come to veganism due to the videos Vegan Gains has released. Wonderful. However, my concern is for all the countless people who have left his videos and were utterly repulsed by the comments, arguments, and characters he created. I'm not saying that my dry robotic sounding clip art advocacy is the ultimate solution. Clearly not. But I am saying that if we are serious about spreading veganism and ending the worldwide suffering of billions of animals, we ought to be willing to discuss what methods work more than they harm. It is clear from the comments of last week's video that many vegans are unwilling to participate in such a dialogue, and that is a shame. It is my opinion, as far as that matters, that Vegan Gains videos are causing more harm than good because when I step back from the initial emotional reaction to hate those causing animals to suffer and die, I realize that changing public opinion <coughs> is the best chance at success, and poor satirical videos reveling in stomping babies to bloody pulp, or describing in detail how one wants to slice the throat of a fellow YouTuber cannot be seriously argued as a good way of convincing non-vegans of anything other than the questionable sanity or humor of vegans. I have quite a few other viewer comments to address, and I've already eaten up too much of this video's time on one. In next week's video, I am committed to responding to more than 20 YouTube comments from last week's video. Now, let's delve once more into the mind and method of none other than Vegan Gains. Women use children as objects to control and manipulate you. Now, this is probably going to get me a lot of hate, but I don't care because men need to know about this. Most women only want to have children so that they don't have to work and that they can get taken care of. And I don't give a fuck what you say, oh I love my man and I just want to have babies with him. It's fucking bullshit. Women trick men into having kids so that they don't have to work and by the time the kid is five or six years old and it doesn't make any more sense for them to stay stay at home moms and the time comes for them to get a fucking job, they try and trick men into having more children so that they can keep getting taken care of. Vegan Gaines called it. He did, in fact, get a lot of hate for his misogynistic views, and rightfully so. To paint more than 50% of the human species with such a bigoted view is beyond reproach, and I am unsure how he has managed to retain any of his female viewers. I am at a loss why Vegan Gaines thinks that most women are lazy and desire to be taken care of, but he seems to be speaking more from some past personal experiences rather than some objective analysis of the social sciences. Women also use children to control and manipulate you to prevent you from leaving an unloving, abusive relationship or to steal money from you after you break up. And if they don't get what they want, they'll just break up with you and steal money from you until the kid is 18 and the threat of that happening is often enough to trap men into these horrible fucking relationships. I'm not going to let any women take advantage of me like that and I'm going to take control of things by getting a fucking vasectomy. You have to get a stable 9 to 5 job because you have stupid ass kids to take care of and a manipulative bitch wife or girlfriend who will do whatever it takes to tie you down. Are there women who manipulate men with children? Of course, but men are no different. 
During a divorce, especially in cases which spousal abuse was involved, women often are awarded custody of children by the courts, and so the men are required to help support financially. This is not some ploy by greedy, lazy women to use men for their benefit. This is a mechanism by which society ensures that women who have had to take time away from work have a means of continued support raising their child. Vegan Gaines seems to have no idea how much time and resources are devoted to raising a baby. He comes off as immature and bitter, and someone who perhaps has been pressured to be responsible for an unwanted child. This passionate opinion of his must stem from some personal experience. So, Trisha Paytas? I'm just going to call her Trisha Fatass. So, Trisha Fatass made some horrible music video about how being fat is okay and how fat is beautiful or something. Oh, look at that. Your boyfriend committed suicide. Gee, I wonder why he would have done that. <laughs> and the only people who find this attractive have fucking mental problems, and you know it! So, you know what? I want you to keep eating the exact same way you're eating now. Eat tons of meat, dairy, eggs, and processed food. Get even fatter, live a sad, pathetic life of denial and misery, and then die young of a heart attack or stroke, because that's all a fat, pathetic, fucking liar like you deserves. Vegan gains lacks tact. Yes, being overweight is generally considered to be unhealthy, but to fat shame a person is not acceptable behavior. Dealing with body image issues is a complicated matter in a society that deems Photoshop bulimia to be an ideal look. There are also medical and psychological reasons why a person may be overweight, so if we are to encourage a healthy lifestyle to others, we ought to do it with reasoned arguments and providing resources rather than spewing personal insults. Additionally, a person dealing with depression may be moved to harming themselves after seeing such displays of disgust. Please understand, I am not encouraging that overweight people embrace and encourage others to be overweight. What I am calling for is a more reasoned, argument-based approach. And it had a really annoying fat girl in it. Still Kirsty, what do you have for lunch? I actually ate and that's for you know. one chicken schnooky schnook. And then I left a comment saying that I want to punch her in the face, and a few people thought that was inappropriate, and uh, told me I'm a hypocrite for being vegan and supporting violence against people. Again. More fat-shaming remarks, but with the added bonus of a desire to commit a physical assault. Why? Because this lady is overweight? Because Vegan Gaines finds her comments annoying? Because she speaks of eating animals? Violence is not the answer in a civilized society. Yes, there is nothing civilized about enslaving and killing billions of animals. But that is not a reason to abandon civility in our interactions with others. Violence or threats of violence is not a means to convince others that violence towards other animals is wrong. That is hypocritical and just plain confusing to anyone unfamiliar who discovers veganism through Vegan Gains content. Did any of you hear the horrible news? Furious Pete got cancer again! And it seems I was correct because Pete got cancer again! Oh, so sad! And before you all start calling me a sociopath as some sort of attempt to insult me, how about you consider the fact that Furious Pete makes fun of the suffering and death of the animals he eats on a daily basis. So, I don't see why I shouldn't make a joke about his suffering and death. So who would like a ha ha, you're gonna die of cancer t-shirt? And now it looks like he's gonna die of cancer and if you ask me, he's getting exactly what he deserved. Making fun of a person who has been diagnosed with cancer is boorish. Vegan gains is essentially victim blaming and making light of a possibly lethal disease and this does nothing but to draw more negative attention towards him and veganism by extension. Perhaps the cancer was exasperated by Furious Pete's dietary choices, we will never know. But by publicly blaming him for his illness, this does nothing but make vegan games come off as the world's biggest asshole. There are better ways to illustrate the increased risk of certain cancers with dietary choices, and Vegan Gains has missed that opportunity. No matter what t-shirts Furious Pete has worn, or comments made in opposition to veganism, using his cancer in such a crude way to push a message lacks basic human decency. I will freely admit that some of Vegan Gains' content is pretty good and helpful, but I don't think that the good outweighs the bad. 
We ought not ignore the incredibly offensive and inappropriate comments just because we are fellow vegans and agree with his end goal. The end does not justify all means, and if we want to make a meaningful change to public opinion, we need to argue for veganism from a position of reason, not a reactionary emotional response. Thanks for watching. Check out next week's video in which I address in detail many of the arguments and complaints directed at me due to the release of last week's critique of vegan gains. If you enjoyed this video, click the like button and subscribe. If you can spare a few dollars to support the efforts of this channel, visit my Patreon page here and become a patron today. If you are looking for a great place to communicate with vegans, atheists, theists, and non-vegans from across the globe, consider joining the Vegan Atheist Forum. Our growing community is always looking for new members with whom we can share our experiences, debate issues, discuss, and learn from each other. Join the conversation at theveganatheist.com forum.